Pokemon Masters, Berkey Patorby here, and welcome back to Pokemon Tempest. Last time on our Pokemon journey, it brought us all the way to Atherin City, home of the third Pokemon gym, a structure known as the Pokropolis, where in olden times, gym leaders fought to climb the ranks to the Elite Four and even the Champion. Speaking of champions, it was there that we met Champion Odias, and of course, the gym leader of this city, Arya. Cass also appeared, but sadly just missed the champion in passing. You've healed up your team, which is coming along nicely, by the way. I've loved reading your comments on this. And now you'll take it in turns to battle the gym with Cass. And perhaps this morning, before you head out to the gym, you'll take some time to train up with the trainers in the city and maybe even evolve some of your Pokemon ready for a fight. Starting up, it looks like your Popoil is evolving. Amphibiblimp, the balloon frog Pokemon. A water flying type, and while yes, it's relatively weak, it does use its speed to outmaneuver opponents. It can inflate its mouth and chest. Amazingly, even when underwater, it just produces air to zoom up to the surface and then into the sky. It then dives back down on opponents with quite the force. An excellent teammate for some very sneaky plays. And it's time for the starting bug to evolve. Congratulations, your Hip Hopper has evolved into Hip Mothic, the Mothball Pokemon. Out of its cocoon state, the type changes once again to Bug Flying, meaning each stage of its evolution has a different secondary type to differentiate it. This gargantuan bug is the biggest of all bug Pokemon ever discovered. And while many find it terrifying, others envy it for its incredible eyelash. If you caught a bar bug at the beginning of your journey and kept some of its poison moves, they'll prove very helpful for when you face off against Aria. Also, if you did catch an Abra or a Hone Edge or a Psyduck, any of them that you would have caught before will have now evolved into a Kadabra, a Dublade, or a Golduck. So hopefully your team has a bit of bulk before the gym. Here she is now. Hey there, champion. Good morning, and welcome to Procropolis, the greatest stadium of all of Olympia. When you fly back to whatever region you are from, you will be telling the story of the time you couldn't win here. Plus, I need a victory. Cass arrived early and so has already had her battle. She's a tough one. You know, I get the impression that her anger towards you is misplaced. She's just frustrated. She sees the world opening up, getting bigger, and I think she just feels like she wants to be seen. And in front of the champion yesterday, she wanted to impress, but didn't get the chance. I can relate to that too. They call me the beauty of Atheren, but it's a title I hate the most. The compliment is nice, but I want to be seen for what I am, the most powerful gym leader on this island. And you, you will lose here. First up, go Coink. Whoa, this is a Pokemon we've never seen before. This little cutie is Coink, a steel fairy type the lucky pig Pokemon. It flies around and if you catch one, it's said to bless you with riches. It loves using moves like payday and then wallowing around in the coins that it scatters. Uh, and if you are hoping to bring a poison type to take this down, then you will be sorely disappointed against its steel defenses. However, you should have a few fighting type Pokemon in the wings ready to go, or perhaps even a Brazian, Tenfin or Houndour ready to blaze your way through. No problem. Go Sarasurf! Next up is Sarasurf, and you may have already met this Pokemon back in Rumble Town, so you're pretty familiar with it already. Still, it can have some tricky status moves that can defeat some of your Pokemon, so be careful. You're a strong trainer, but you won't stand a chance against my ace. Go Satacorn! And here we have another new Pokemon, the evolution of Galalabai Satacorn. The gleaming goat Pokemon, it's hunted for its fur and horns that are said to have magical powers, summoning other fairy Pokemon. Therefore, it's being heavily protected by locals. Just like its pre-evolution, it's a fairy ground Pokemon and knows all manner of physical moves like Earthquake, Takedown, and Play Rough. However, if you have a Heronin or an Iguanagoon, you should have a really easy time against it and be able to take out. Whoa, my Satacorn! 
Corn, how is that even possible? You are a strong trainer for sure and absolutely worthy of the third gym coin. Well done. I guess I have more training to do. Congratulations, trainer. I guess the next gym would be in the city of Sea Castle. Or, actually, if the cable cars were finished, you could take that up to the Cliffside Village and then beyond that to Nest Pine City and the gym there. But we haven't got that working yet, so heading west to Sea Castle's where I'd go. Ah, Thundra, thank you. Aria, what a splendid display. Champion Odias? Where did you come from? I was watching from the cliffside village. All the way up there? But why not just come down and watch in the stadium? You must have incredible eyesight. Ha ha ha, yes, well, what can I say? There are many things for me to keep my eye on. And I must say, Arya, your battling prowess gets better every day. Do you feel that breeze? Oh, thank you, Odias, thank you. Hey, I don't feel any breeze. I sense only a lightness to the air, and a darkening sky is coming. Not a tempest, of course. Still, a gust once started may become a tornado at a moment's notice. That is for the Tempest Pokémon to decide. Tell me, Champion, have you heard of the Tempest Pokémon? Tis a legendary Pokémon that lives on this island. They say it's a devil of a Pokémon speeding around, causing mayhem, but it's much more than just a prankster. It has the power to cause great storms. In fact, it is the cause of the tempests that both plague and protect this island. Keep this secret with you when you leave Solympia. Wow, the champion must really trust you. Over a decade ago, I sensed a storm brewing much as I do today. And there was one with such hatred in his heart. He summoned the legendary Pokémon and caused this last ten-year tempest. These great storms are usually a natural occurrence, but if the island wills one to begin, then the legendary Pokémon may create one. It is the will of Solympia. But when people start playing with nature like that, Still, nothing to worry about. As I say, I'm sure enough that the storm coming is little more than a natural wind. Excuse me? Ah, oh, hello there, and who might you be? Wait, don't answer. You're Cass of Trickletown, are you not? And you're the champion, Odias. But wait, how do you know who I am? Of course. Professor Dodonna has spoken very highly of you. You are the most skilled Pokémon trainer in the whole village, he said. You really think so? Uh, well, of course I am. I'm the greatest Pokemon trainer this island has ever seen. Not like the Stormer here. Little champ, I got my coin before you did, so you're struggling to keep up. In fact, I challenge you to a battle right here, right now. Now, now, Cass. You know the little champ has just battled a gym leader. Allow me to heal up their team first. Oh, yeah, of course. There we go. Now a fair fight I love to see. Let the battle begin! Here you and Cass go, it's time for another battle. You want to lead out strong, so why don't you send your starter out first? Go, Houndoom! A Houndoom, eh? Okay, well, with the rock typing on Iguanagoon and the ground typing on Brazian, you should be just fine here. Houndoom was just me getting warmed up. Go, Hypnotic! Okay, well, this is going to be a tough one, but maybe you have a Hypnotic of your own, so go into battle with it. Hypnotic versus Hypnotic. You want to use Hidden Hypnosis attack and hit Cass's Hypnotic while it's asleep. Ouch, or, or equally, Cass's Hypnotic might do that to you. That sucks, but it's okay, you have other Pokemon in your team. Hypnotic! No, it's fine. Go, Hypnotrist! Whoa, a Hypnotrist, another hypnotic Pokémon. This is the evolution of Merion, and as Merion evolved through the Dusk Stone, which you wouldn't have picked up yet, then you wouldn't have evolved yours if you had caught one. This Pokémon is said to live in the same woods as Hypnotic, and when the two meet, they try to hypnotize each other, putting many wild Pokémon to sleep as a side effect. 
Its stats are absurdly high for this point in the story. It's a grass dark type and it's able to hit you for unbelievable damage. It has moves like Hammer Arm and Mega Punt and thanks to its ability Marionette, kicking and punching moves become multi-hit moves, being able to hit you anywhere from their usual one to up to six times. This could be deadly. Wow, so much of your team has gone down, but you're hanging in there. Still, it seems like Cass's Pokemon are a much higher level than yours. So you beat my hypnotrist. No matter. I still have you. Go, Felraptor! Uh-oh, her Felraptor is out and it knows dragon moves you could never have been ready for. Like, outrage. You were fully healed before this battle, but Cass... Cass has the better of you here. I don't think you can win, even if you send in your starter Pokemon. Use Outrage, Falraptor! Oh, that's a Falraptor. Yes! I win! I knew it! I knew I had what it takes! I did it! You, Cass! Your Pokemon! That's a Foul Raptor! Quite a rare sight. They say a long time ago a Pokemon from another region called Avilisk appeared. It was able to sneak its eggs into the nest of the local Kapan and has evolved to look like them. See here, this is the difference between Kapan and what you had before, which was a Mimichik. They are almost identical, but they are different Pokemon. In the rare nests where this Pokemon hatches, the Mimichik that become this Pokemon usually claim the nest for themselves. Keep on training hard, and one day, if you let it, it'll become an Avilisk, a deadly Pokemon. Thank you, but is it really okay to have an Avilisk, though? It's technically an outsider, an invader to our island. I'm sorry I didn't realize that sooner. Well, that first Avilisk showed up here thousands of years ago, and your foul raptor has lived its whole life here in your care, so this is its home. Of course. Champion Odias, my Pokemon and I are going to get stronger. We're going to get as many coins as we can, and then challenge you on Mount Olympia. Then when I finally defeat you, I'll become a champion too! Ha <laughs> ha! I love it, that's the spirit. I can't wait to see it, Cass. I am certain you have it in you. Of course, just one victory against your friend here won't be enough to become champion. And champion, it looks like you still have room to grow. Now then, I will travel off to Mount Olympia to prepare for our challenge, and to keep my eyes on the skies. For you, I recommend you go on to Sea Castle. They say it's where people first arrived in Olympia. Good luck to you both. Go Thundra! If it's really true what the champion said about Avalisk, then maybe Stormers aren't really so bad after all. Of course, you'll have to prove yourself, little champ. If you're ever able to beat me again, that is. <laughs> I'll be seeing you. Huh? That's a true rivalry if I ever saw it. You know, me and the gym leader of Sea Castle used to be rivals on our very own Pokemon journey. Good luck when you battle against him. I'll give you a hint. He uses water type Pokemon, so you have plenty of time to prepare. Safe journeys, champion, and next time we battle, I'm going to win. And with that, you better heal up your Pokemon and get ready for what comes next. Cass beating you in this battle was just the first time. Who knows if it'll be the last. Let's hope you have what it takes next time on Pokemon Tempest as you head out to Sea Castle City and your fourth Pokemon Gym. By the way, shout out to my secret audience that watch until the credits. I hope you're all doing well. Behind the credits, you will notice that there is an image of the Olympia region. This is available now as a poster linked in the top of the description. And that poster, of course, supports this channel. So if you are enjoying Pokemon Tempest, consider picking one up either as a gift for yourself or for a friend and enjoy Olympia.